Okay. Um, to begin with, how many of you have read Going Solo? The first two chapters. I only the one. You've read just one. I read. I read. Um, who is I? I? I don't have you all. I'm yes. In the classroom chat, that he, that you send the link to the email. Yeah, so I get it that some some of you have read chapter chapters one and two at least. Yes? Miss. Yes? Okay. Chapters one and two. Can we can we review main ideas? Are you prepared for that? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, wow, don't be so enthusiastic. Um, did you see what's on Google Classroom? Did you yes. see? Yes. Yeah? Did you see the PowerPoint? I think it is it's kind of a short yes. summary. Yeah. Okay. So we get the idea that um, Roald Dahl, as I had told you before, begins this book when he's around 22. Yeah, I, I prepare this summary. Can you see, can you see the whole document? Going solo summary? Guys? Can you? Yes? Okay. I get it from, Noah is nodding there, so I, I assume that you can all see it. Yes? Uh, in this summary, I put together some notions, okay? To begin with, we have that name of the, of, of, um, of the ship is SS Mantola. It goes from England to London. Mora. You got it, yeah? Sorry? Sorry, I, I, don't do in, I don't do Spanish, so if you're going to use Spanish, I lose you. Yeah? I need everybody focus here. Nathan, something wrong? Yeah. What happened? I need you focus on the screen. Okay? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Hello. Are we okay? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Let's continue. So, as I was talking. As I was telling you, he travels on a ship called SS Mantola. He goes from England, London to East Africa, Mombasa. And this is a two week voyage. And the year 1938. 28 at that time. Yeah? We know from what he says that he doesn't go back to England until he's 25. So it's going to be kind of a long, long stay. Yeah? And he's hired by the Shell Company. So he's working. He's working for the Shell Company. You know Shell? The petrol yes. gasoline company? Yes. Yeah. The first chapter describes Roald Dahl's first journey and some extraordinary British people not possible to see today. There's a lot of vocabulary in this uh, chapter and the second one that has to do with vocabulary that was used at that time. He says, for example, that there's a lady that is very dotty. Dotty means eccentric. Yeah? All of them are different. All of them are, pe are very peculiar people. He has um, a partner. He's sleeping. You know what a cabin is? The cabin is the bedroom. Yeah, you have one bed and then you have an another bed. The cabin partner is called UN Savory. He's a cotton mill manager in the Punjab. Okay, then another people he finds on the ship, Major Griffiths and his wife. They were, they liked to do exercise and their exercise was very strange. They walked along the, um, the deck, but naked, without clothes. So obviously Rolf Dahl is shocked. Like, what are you doing walking on the surface, walking on a ship naked, without clothes? But they were eccentric, yeah? 
Then you got Miss Trefusis, which was a very strange lady. She didn't touch anything with her bare fingers, so she wore gloves, or she didn't touch it. So whenever she had to eat, she used a fork and a knife. She was always cutting, cutting food, okay? It's like eating a, an apple or whatever, but never with the hands, because for her, the hands were very dirty, they were filthy, they had uh, worms. And we know another piece of information that this guy that uh, was in the, um, in, the, in the same cabin, UN Savory, he wore a wig. Wig is hair that you put on your head, okay, for people who don't have uh, much hair, yeah? So he had fake hair and he put some Epsom salts, yeah? It's like putting something on top of you, like salt, real salt, he put it on the wig and on the shoulders to simulate dandruff. Somebody here knows the word dandruff? No. No. Really? But I but think like dandruff. this Casper. Sorry? I think that it could be Casper. In Spanish, this one. Yeah, dandruff. Okay. Yes, dandruff is the kind of pieces of scalp that fall from your from your head oh, onto your shoulders, and it's very common of people to to do like this, okay? Because they're they're full of uh, white, uh, tiny things. That is dandruff. But this guy, he simulated that he had dandruff, so that way people would think that his hair was real. Do you get it? Yes, but yes. but why why he put um, salt in in his wig? Because if you have something falling falling from your hair, people are going to think that this is your real hair. Do you get it? If ah. I have if I have done brush here on my shoulders, it comes where it comes from my hair. In his case, he didn't have hair. That's why he was wearing full hair that is called wig, this word. Yeah? You can Google that. Yeah? A wig is hair that you put on top of your head to pretend to simulate that you have hair. Are we clear? Renato. You had a question? Yes, tell me. Sorry, I cannot hear you. Your volume. There, better? Come on. Renato, yes? Renato, come on. No me puedo escuchar. Renato, you had a question, make it. No? Yes or no? Okay, let's continue. If you have a question, tell me, yeah? I'm reading the chat. I don't want anyone to write something silly, okay? Chat is for me, not, not for you. Let me... And mute everyone. Okay, you can all talk, but I insist. I don't want you talking among yourselves or saying something silly. Yeah? Max, Max cannot, cannot get in. Why? What happened to Max? Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yes. Uh, Max, 
Uh, Max say that don't um, cannot um, enter to the Zoom and is calling me to to you to me because he don't enter. He he cannot he cannot get in. He yeah. Get in. What he can do, but. Mm. You already invited him. I don't know how to ask him again to come in. Me. Could could you invite him? Somebody. I I. Yeah, me. please do. Yeah, let let me know what happens there. Uh, who else is absent? I got Nathan, Pascal, Renato, Rodrigo, David, Eitan, Felipe, Gabriel, Igal. Eh, Kalnit, Laura, Nico, Noah, Rafaela, Sami, Yossi, Agustina, Anat, Ariel, Mijal, Martina, Maya, Mikaela, Mijal, and Naomi. Yes? I'm still, I'm still missing people. Who? Mila, Sarita. Mila, Mila Stanio. Yeah, what happened to her? Tell her, okay? I think she Mila. cannot answer. Ariel, Ariel. I sent everybody the link. I have a question. Who? Oh. Who has a question? Itan? Itan. Yeah, tell me. I, I don't understand what uh, was the sound that the, the, the guy has in the hair or in the shoulder. You don't understand why he put a salt? Yes. Salt? Salt. Epsom salt is salt but a bit bigger that you put on you can you can take a bath and put Epsom salt. Okay? okay. And he put he put that salt on his wig. You know what a wig is? Take hair. He put it on the wig and on the shoulders to pretend that he had real hair. He didn't have any real hair. And why? Why did he put dandruff? Why did he have to pretend that he had real hair? That is a very good question. Who can answer that? Me. Who's me? David. David. He had to pretend he had hair because he was bald and he worked for the uh, re rare name in, in like in Indian, yeah. like like the Saki, yeah. that they didn't respect bald people and it was not for uh, like for looking good, it was for for work. Very good. Yes, very good answer. He had to pretend that he had hair, real hair, not not false, real hair, because he was dealing with a, a shake. Okay, and they didn't respect people that didn't have hair. Yeah. Yeah. Very very good one, David. Very good. So something else you would like to know so far, chapter one. Come on, I'm accepting questions. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, go. What is elbow? Elbow. This this is your elbow. Uh, elbow, shoulder. Sure. Another one. You could have used a dictionary for that. Another one. Hmm? No? No questions? Shall I continue? Okay. So yes. I continue with chapter two. So after two weeks on, on the SS Mantola, he gets to Mombasa, East Africa. Yeah? yeah? They arrive in East Africa and there he took another ship to Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam in Tanganyika. It's another, another place, another city, and he's going to live there. Uh, children. 
I need you to sit down, you take your phone. I don't know, there's somebody there not paying attention. Yeah, okay, I continue. So he got to Dar es Salaam, uh, where he's going to leave at work. He was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed means, wow, he was fascinated by the landscape in Dar es Salaam. There were tall trees, the jungle, the sandy beaches, the water, canals, flowers, everything, okay? Everything was very green, exotic. It was beautiful. And he lived in a very, very big house for three people. Only three people were working there in the shell company. And each had a personal boy, kind of a, how can I put it? Not a slave, okay? A personal boy is kind of a, a nanny, but just for you, okay? And this boy could look after you. And obviously, you had to look after for the boy. In his case, Roald Dahl's boy was called Ndichon. Uh, and he belonged to a tribe, and the name of the tribe, the Mwanumwesi. And obviously, they spoke in Swahili. Swahili is an African language. So Roald Dahl had to study and take a test on Swahili so as to pick with the natives. Imagine that he comes from England. He's going to Africa. In Africa, very few people speak in English, mainly because they come from England. The native people, the local people, speak a tribe language. In this case, he had to learn Swahili. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's move on. He had to I study have a Swahili. question. Yeah? About the quiz. The quiz is next week. Or today? Uh, today. But more Claudio... The bird quiz, the bird quiz is going to be next week. But today you're going to have some questions on chapters one and you answer. Okay. Okay, that's why we're doing this. Okay. So I continue. Uh, he had to learn Swahili in order to speak with the native people. Now, if he if he spoke Swahili, it was to speak not only with the clients, because the clients are going to be English. He was to speak with the local people. I insist on that, okay? And he was paid more. If he spoke Swahili, he was going to get more money. Now, his work. What is Roald Dahl doing in Dar es Salaam? Yeah? Felipe Piquet, pay attention. His work implied visiting clients. The clients had diamond, gold mines, they had sisal, cotton plantations. And what was his job? To keep the machinery supplied with proper lubricating oil and fuel oil. So he was working for the Shell Company and he had to go and visit different clients in order they got oil. What is oil? You know oil? An element that keeps the machine working, okay? It's like putting gasoline, gasoline on a car. You make it work. So he needed to sell oil to different people. And in the very end of the chapter, we know that he saved a boy's life when he saw a black mamba. What is a mamba? Um, a type of snake. Very good. A type of snake. Is it poisonous? Does it have venom? Um, I don't know, but I think yes. yes. Yes, you think well, they do. They are poisonous. Yeah. So this black mamba was going towards the boy. Okay. And the boy there was Salimu uh, was watching this and he knew how, how to kill it. Uh, so Roald Dahl told him, hey, Salimu, there's a black mamba. And he turned around and killed the black mamba. Yeah? He was thankful for being warned by Roald Dahl. So obviously, he was doing him a favor. And the chapter finishes in 1939. So these two chapters take how long? One year, kind of. Yeah? Any other question? Hmm? 
Any other question? Come on, this is the time to ask. I'm hearing. I'm listening to you. Tell me. No, nothing. Wow. Okay. If I I don't I I don't understand uh, so well the last part of the chapter two. Yeah. Okay. What part? When he was um, visiting places. Um, no, no we saw the uh, black mamba. The black mamba thing. Ah, yeah. Mamba, mamba. Mamba, yes. Mamba. The thing is that um, he was uh, he was watching Salimu, the boy, the Swahili boy. He was watching. Um, uh, he was, I think, was outside and um, Roald Dahl was inside the house, I don't remember well, but he was watching Tlimu and from behind there was the snake, there was the mamba. You know that the snakes go up, okay, a little bit. They go up with the head and he was going to attack Salimu. So Salimu turns around, faces the snake and when he, when he wants to react, he kills the snake. Yeah? So finally, obviously, he's being protected by Lord God. He's doing him a favor. Clear now? But um, which one killed kill the, the, the snake? Which one killed the snake? Salimu. Because uh. Roald Dahl was only warning him. He was telling them, hey, this is going uh. to happen. Yeah? But Thank he was you. only warning him. So, uh, I want everybody to open Google Classroom. Can you do it? Um, I don't know how to open. I don't know how to open. Mm -hmm. I come on, guys. Your first Again. time on Google Classroom. You have to do it. Like you have to go. Like... You have to go to the school site. Ya lo hice. Hey, no Spanish. Uh, uh, I I <laughs> you have to go to a school site. Yeah. How I want, how if you want, I can go. I can show you where I am. I am on seventh grade. Where am I? Where can I? Can I go Google Classroom in my in my? Can I? Ah, ah, that's it. Bueno. In my what? No, no, no. Um, I don't know how to go uh, to Google Classroom with Zoom, but now I, I understand. Ah, okay. But it doesn't matter. You can share a different screen. Yeah? You can have both open. Uh, I do that. Uh, you can have more, more than two screens on. Okay. So, everybody in Google Classroom? Yes. Okay. I... Uh, no, I don't know how to. What do you mean you don't? You're in computer, Noah. Can yes. you open? You can you open you the school put, site? No, you have to put view option uh, upside in right, and then put uh, some of that. You have to put. Okay. What about me? I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we, we have to answer the quiz in the document. Yes. Or we have in, to in the document. In the document. I I can I can. I. No. Sorry, sorry. Send you a video nice. how to do it. No Spanish. I can't do it if I am in Zoom. But you can have different screens. You don't need to shut it down. Uh oh. What are you doing? 
Um, yes. Yes? Yeah. Can you see what I'm sharing with you? Can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. Yes, can no. you see there? Going solo, chapters one and two. Yes? Yes. Okay. Can you open the document? Yes. What document? What do you mean what document? The one that solo. says quiz, going solo. Okay. Could you open it? Yes. yes. Brilliant. Can we do it now? Yeah, right now. Can we entregarlo at the level? Can you submit it? Can you submit it? That is the word that you need. Can you submit it? Yeah, but already I gave the clue. You can submit it today before midnight. Yeah. Can we write in in uh, in our in our copy books or or here? Here, here on the same document. Ah, okay. Uh, guys, some of you are with other people. Can you go somewhere where you are alone? Because I can hear a lot of noise. Please, I don't understand the second question. Okay, let's go through it one by one. Number one says, Oof, again, guys, a lot of noise, be careful. Not a lot of noise. So, Question number one says, what was the impression Roald Dahl had about all the people that were on the ship? Why he had that impression? Yes? The impression, so here, what, what are they asking you? What he felt? Oh, I... In stereo. Go to another place. Can you go somewhere else or can you mute yourself? Because I don't know who it is. It cannot mute you. Yeah, but if your, your mom is there or the nanny or sisters. Thank you. Yeah. So what was the impression that he had about all the people that were on the ship? What did he think about the people on the ship? Yeah. Was it a uh, kind of a, how can I, was it a nice impression? Was it not so nice? Was it mm, different? I want you to tell me about his impression on the people that were on the same ship. Clear? I think it's not difficult. Yeah? Second one. Um, what was Major Griffiths doing on the ship's deck? We already said that, okay? What was he doing? Remember that he was there doing something and then his wife, why did he stop talking to roll down so you got you have to answer two different things first what was uh, he doing remember on the deck of the ship and then uh, why did he stop talking remember that they, they they were talking about uh, a sport and then roll down said something about this sport that didn't uh, major griffiths did, didn't like very much so you have two questions. One. Let's go to number three. Describe Miss prefaces and her eccentricities. Provide three examples. So we already know that she was dotty, was very eccentric. Can you give me three examples? You have to describe her and then you have to give me three examples. Okay. Number four. What did Roald Dahl find out about you and Savory regarding the hair? Wow, this is very easy. You already know. Huh? Okay. Explain why you and Savory did that. So, what happened to his hair and why he did it? You know that. We already talked about it. Chapter 2. How did Roald Dahl travel to Paris Salam? How did he walk? 
did he take an airplane? What was his impression of the house? Now, when he got there, he was like, or he was, yeah, I can't, mm, it's okay. You have to give me details. So you can take the book and you can give me details about his impressions. Second, describe the jobs of following the domestic people. Piggy, Salimu, and Mendisha. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Piggy, a little bit about Salimu, a little bit about Mendisha. Yeah. Number three, why it was important to learn Swahili? What incentive did the Shell Company offer employees who learned Swahili? We already talked about this. Again, you know. Somebody looking at somebody's well, door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have uh, all the day to, to do this. Yes. But just today. Yeah. You cannot submit it tomorrow. Just today. Then uh, number four, describe his work. And we talked about it. What did he do in Dar es Salaam? Me. And, and wait, and what happened to Salimu? At the very, very end, remember the episode with the, you know what? Yeah, question? I don't, I can write on the document. Yes, you can. You I, can. What I, Look. I try and I can't. A weird I open it and I can and I can write on it look Hi. what I do Hi, because this document is um, it's a Google so okay if that is the case if it's absolutely impossible for you I think you can but if it's absolutely impossible download it and send me a copy Okay. Yeah. Here it says there in this column that you can download it as a Microsoft book. But I insist you should be able to do it. Yeah? I have a question. Yeah, tell me. I don't understand the question four from the chapter two. Describe Roald Dahl's work? Uh, work. Uh, Work. You have to tell me what what was he doing in uh, in South Africa. Okay. You have to say that he worked for mm, that he had to go visiting people mm, doing what. Mm. Okay. Any other doubt? No. Any other question today? No. Uh, one thing that I think is going to be kind of obvious, but it's, it's good to repeat it. If I see answers, copy. In that section, you get no score. Okay? So, if to answer, describe role does work. You're going to give me the same as your best friend or somebody sent you the answer or you Google it or whatever. You're going to get no score because that means you're copying. Okay? And in the end, you get a one. But more we can like put you can uh, you can use the book. Of... Yes, you can use the book. Absolutely. But I don't want copying each other. That's what I mean. Yeah? Don't copy. You have the whole day. But Mora, we can like put a little part of the book. Sorry, Mora? you can what? I didn't get it. My book is in the house of my friend. Uh, school site, library. You don't need the physical book. You can check the school site. Mora? Yeah? Um, that, can I do um, this? This um quiz um as um um not now because I can uh, concentrate with absolutely when... absolutely now uh, uh, we're going to finish this meeting you're going to answer this during the whole day and you have to until midnight to submit it yeah yes I'm done. 
mm-hmm. by essence of the book. Uh, I cannot give you information now. That's why I asked you before if you had any doubts. Now that I already show you the test, you cannot make questions. Because I would give you the answer, so it wouldn't be fair, would it? Oh, it isn't, uh, it isn't on the book. Ah, it isn't. Yeah, okay, it should. What is it? it that, uh, uh, what is of the work we have of the of the person think one person continues that what happens if yeah. uh, a sentence uh, mm-hmm. or uh, in, the, in the exercise a sentence uh, is uh, is so is sorry uh, is I oh, forget what happens when you're working with present simple or present continuous? I don't get it. Maybe you can I, send I, me. I remember it. Uh, that what happens if a, if a sentence uh, yeah. describe uh, describe annoying action, but also uh, have its routine. It will be present simple or present continuous. If you're describing something annoying and you have a frequency word, it's uh, continuous. Frequency word, often, always, generally, usually, regularly, yeah? You say, um, I don't know, my sister, my little sister is generally leaving her toys in my bed. That would be annoying because you don't like it, yeah? But you have to have both. You need a frequency word and it must be annoying. If you only have a frequency word and it's not annoying, simple present. My little sister is gener- generally leaves her toys on my bed. It's not annoying. Did I answer you? Nathan? Did I answer you? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, we're finishing. It's a quarter to 11. We took much time doing this. Uh, I have another lesson, sorry. Uh, so, the thing I is... I have another question. Yeah, tell me. But that isn't of this also. Tell me. That, uh, how can we do an autobiography that have relevant uh, things with the phrases negative and positive. Uh, when you talk about yourself, I'm, I have always, I'm, I don't know, I always wake up late uh, during the weekends uh, because I don't like being pestered when I'm sleeping, positive and negative. You can use present simple, present continuous. You can. Yeah, so no other questions. I need you to answer this today, as I was telling you, before midnight, okay? I don't want any, any work after midnight. Is that clear, everybody? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. So good that you connected, children. We're going to do the same next Thursday. Okay, so I need everybody connecting at 10 a.m. next Thursday, we're going to do something else. Uh, homework. You need to read chapters three and four. Yeah? I'm going to write it on Google Classroom as well, but I need everybody to read chapters three and four. And I'm going to leave you some wow. other... For next week, I give you one week. Yeah? That is going to be your... We will have again a quiz of the... Of the again. Book. Maybe, I don't know whether a quiz, maybe we can do something, an activity. I don't know whether it's going to be graded. Maybe not. But I need you reading. Okay. I need you reading for next week, three and four. So, when you finish answering the document, begin reading right away. You don't understand a word, look it up. Use a dictionary, whatever you need. Okay, and if you have questions, ask me. Yeah?
Don't worry, I'll be here. So, a pleasure, children. We have a question about um, three and four. Um, Maya, yes? We are going to do like the same meeting um, for seeing chapter three and four. Maybe not the same, maybe it's not going to be answering in a paragraph, but it could be that you that you create something or you make me kind of a mind map with the characters and give me information. I'm thinking about it, yeah, but it's it's going to be about three or four. Okay, ah, another thing before I forget, um, the presentations, yeah, I've got six or seven presentations while we were at school. Uh, what about it, the, 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 the rest of you record a presentation? Moya, but the presentations, we have to do it in, in video and we, and, or, and, or we will do it when we came back to school. I think it's a good option that you can do it on your own in your house. You can record it. You can uh, video tape, and you can send me the video. And what happens with the people that do it in the school? They did it, and it was fantastic. I will send you the marks, but I'm talking about the ones that haven't done it, obviously. Okay. Uh, if but it's like confirm for the people that did it in the school, but because it's, uh, it's the, 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 when you record, you like you don't have to push. Yeah, I think I think it's not uh, not exactly what what you say. I think that when you record, it's even more difficult, more difficult to get a good pronunciation. The audio could not be good. So it can go against against your your overall performance. Uh, the ones that did it with me, they did great. I mean, they were fantastic. They were really, really extraordinary. So you shouldn't worry, Ata. Yeah. So see you till next Thursday. Hope you can submit this today and read chapters three and four for next week. Okay. I'll be sending you some okay. flashcards. Yeah. Love you guys. Take care. Yeah. Stay safe. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.